kind of unpick my struggle, right? Mm -hmm. My struggle. And on page four, either you do or you don't. Stop trying. Either you do. What page? Page 56, sorry. Yeah, you said four. <laughs> four. I made a mistake. Not up there. Page 56. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, yeah. Oh, I see why it's four. It's I don't know why the numbered up there in four. Oh, it's the fourth chapter. I get it. Fourth chapter. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Either you do or you don't. Stop trying. Either you do or you don't. This quote speaks to measures. In the past, we have all been confronted with the statement numerous with this statement numerous times. Starting as early as conception, we are faced with the decision: either we swim and and fertilize the eggs or we don't. This statement flows, follows us with every decision we make on a daily basis. I am going to be happy either you do things to make your, your life, I'm going to be happy. Either you do things to make your life happy or you don't. I am going to be more successful. Either you do things to make yourself more successful, read books, take classes, change your friends, or you don't. I am going to have a more loving relationship. Either you are going to listen or not. Most relationships are dysfunctional because we forget to listen remember remember the only reason the other person is in your life is because you want them there so it makes no sense to listen to something you want in your life well it, it, it only makes sense in your life it only makes sense you what? said it doesn't make sense it only makes sense to listen to something in your life yeah so so it only makes sense to listen to something you want in your life. We all have to look in the mirror and face this statement, not on a monthly basis or on a daily basis, but on a consistent, almost on a consistent basis, almost with every decision we make, either you do or you don't. I mean, I, I let me give you a little backstory on, on, so my struggle, the quotes out of these books, so that either you do or you don't, fuck trying, either you do or you don't. Um, it was a sequence of uh, about 140 40 quotes I wrote in a week when I was 22 years living in Louisville, Kentucky, um, living in like the ghetto, ghetto uh, parts, West End, uh, Cali Park. And it was my way of surviving, right? So I wrote 140 quotes in, in one week, and it was just every time I saw something that could deter me from achieving greatness, I wrote it down. So this one, either you do, you don't fuck trying either you do, you don't. Right. So with that, it's now that, that quote, uh, in more than one place. Right. And it's been synonymous throughout my life. Either you're going to do it or you're not going to do it. Right. So it's one or the other, there is no in between. So with this, it, it is, I, I, I like how this 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 starts a lot because it, it really just it starts everybody off. It's like, look, if you want a good relationship, either you're going to do the things to have a good relationship or you're not. If you want to be in shape, either you do the things that you're supposed to do to get in shape or guess what? You don't. There is no in between. Right. So you can sit there and you can pretend that you're trying and all this and all that crap. But the actual the facts of it, either you do it or you don't. There is no in between. So go ahead, Joe. Yeah, the same. Either you do or you don't, right? So in life, either it's in a relationship or whatever it could be, it's either you do or you don't. Just like the book says, the other person is only in your life because you you want them in your life. Now you have to. There are things you'd have to do to keep the other person in your life. You have to listen and you have to do things that to keep them in your life. So. It's just like you said, either you do or you don't. There's nothing like trying because everybody could always give the excuse that you're trying, right? So it's either you do things to make your life happier or you don't and you have a miserable life, right? So I think with this, with this, with this, with this very one, it's, it, it, it's, it, it, it goes like that. It's either you do or you don't. There's no, nothing like trying. So here we go. Um, just, just for the simple fact, uh, this one, it's good. I like, I, I, if you don't mind, Joe, I, I would like to, to dive into kind of your path a little bit. Um, 
because we've been doing this for quite some time. Um, I've known Joe for eight years now. Um, and it's been a, a, a struggle with Joe for a while. And the funniest thing, because we, we, we were talking about this yesterday, right? And so he has been waiting for a, an, uh, a phone and an iPad for, I'm, I'm talking about two, three years now, since the last time I came out. And uh, either you do, you don't, right? So he is, and this brings up the, the Michael Jordan syndrome. That's a different book. Um, however, just what we're talking about right now, either you do, you don't, right? I love this story. This is amazing. I love it. So he's been waiting for these gizmos and gadgets. And my whole entire time, I've been like, just do it, Joe. God, oh, bah, 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 you know, because, you know, some colorful alert words, right? And uh, I bring him the stuff. And, you know, I let Joe, Joe tell you what happens to all the stuff within two weeks. So now, in less than two weeks, I, I lost both the iPad and the phone, right? And when I lost both, it got me depressed. And I had to, I had to, I had to find a way of coming out of my depression. So I had to read the books, right? Now, through the books, I realized depression was a good God, right? Because me feeling depressed was actually something that kicked me on to move and then read the books, right? So now, without the Jordan shoes, I was able to play. Opposed to initially thinking that without the Jordan shoes, I cannot play, right? Now, I lost the jo- I lost both Jordan shoes, which was my iPad and my Apple phone, right? My iPhone 12. But then without both Jordans, right? Without the shoes, I was still able, without the new um, Jordan shoes, I was still able to play perfectly. So what I actually learned from that is instead of giving excuses to why you cannot do things, you'd rather have to, you'd rather, um, opposed to you giving excuses why you cannot do something, you'd rather have to do it and then say why you were able to do it, not say why you were not able to do it. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. (laughs) Either you do or you don't. Or you don't. (laughs) Ain't no trying. So if I had had wanted to sit down and think about my lost phone and my lost iPad, I wouldn't have been able to accomplish nothing, right? But then me putting that away and then me not letting that stop me, like Jordan with the flu, right? But it didn't stop him. So me thinking of all these people going through all this, but then it didn't stop them. I was like, why would I stop because of an iPhone and an iPad, right? So I lost it all, but then I accomplished what I was supposed to accomplish. So it's either you do or you don't. No trying, no excuses. Either you do or you don't. 